MSI Action. So the X870E chipset. This is AMD's new chipset for their Ryzen 9000 series processors. I've said it in a couple of videos already. Although it's X870E, there is support for previous generations of Ryzen processors from Ryzen 7000 all the way up to the new ones, which are the Ryzen 9000. MSI has a couple of categories for their components. You've got MEG, top of the line, you've got MPG, mid-range, and you've got MAG, entry level. This motherboard here sits in the second category, which is the MPG. So each of these classifications have their own designated component lineups mm -hmm. within them. So for example, in MAG, you've got the Tomahawk and you've got the Mota series. MPG, you've got the Carbon series. In MEG, you've got the Ace and Godlike series. So what we have here is the MPG series. The MPG series motherboard here we have is the X870E Carbon Wi-Fi. It sits above the Tomahawk and just below the Ace and Godlike. Let's dive in and talk about this motherboard that we have here today. So improving MSI's dedication to innovation, they've actually changed the setup of how you actually access the M.2 slots on your motherboard. This is MSI's Frozer Shield, easy Frozer Shield I mean, okay? So how do you access this region? In previous generations, there will be multiple screws all over here, which you would have to unscrew to gain access. But this time around, They've taken a very innovative approach by using latches. The first instance here is this, your first slot. All you have to do is just push the lever on the side here. And it comes up. This region, push the same lever. And the whole thing comes up. As for the M.2 connectors, MSI's easy latch system can be found in the three M.2 slots at the bottom. It's fairly easy to use this. All you have to do is just push your M.2 in to fasten it and it locks. To release the M.2, all you have to do is just move it off to the left a bit. By pulling it away, you release the M.2 from its slot. There are instances where we use beefy graphics cards. So when you're actually using beefy graphic cards, it's hard to actually access the PCIe release toggle at the back there. I'm sure many of you all who have gone through that situation know the struggle of actually using a screwdriver and poking it down. So in line with innovation as what MSI has emphasized this time around, they've come up with an easy PCIe release solution. So this is the motherboard. And this is the first GPU slot. You notice, just below the RAM here on the right, okay, there is a switch. This switch allows this switch operates this spring-loaded mechanism over here to grant you easy access for graphic cards. Let me just show you an example. So right now, I've got the switch in its open position. Okay. I'm locking it. So when it's locked, you can actually see. Okay. Now I'm going to press the switch and it releases. And this comes off easily. Across the board, you will look, you will come across very common functions and features that can be found in many other motherboards. However, there is one slight difference here. This motherboard has two USB C's which transmit USB 4 signals. You've got speeds of up to 40 gigabytes per second when you use these two slots. Looking at the back I.O. panel, you will notice that you've got the regular BIOS flashback button, clear CMOS button, and there is a newer button here which is called the smart button. 
the smart button has a range of functions. And the best part about the smart button is that you can actually program them to perform a certain task that you wish. If you look into your BIOS, the smart button can be programmed to a few options. You've got starting the BIOS with all RGBs turned off, reset, or restart and enter BIOS directly. So it all depends on what do you want that button to perform. So this is MSI's Easy Antenna. MSI's Easy Antenna, it's seriously easy. All you have to do is just push it in. By pushing it in, the antenna functions. If you'd like to remove it, just pull it out. There's no more screwing involved. All in all, I really think that it's a beautiful motherboard. It comes with really good features and functions and good job to MSI on how they've actually innovated their approach on making motherboards more user-friendly. And also, great job on the new Click BIOS X. It's so easy to use, it's intuitive, and anybody can actually access the BIOS easily now. So if you enjoyed our content for today, do not forget to actually like and subscribe. Thank you and see you all in the next one.